all right guys start off this creepy halloween look i'm going to be using the maybelline baby skin instant erase pore primer and i'm going to be putting that all around my t-zone just so my makeup can last throughout the day Next, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Body Crayon and White, and I'm going to be putting that around my face just because I don't have a white foundation. I don't even think they make white foundations. I don't know, but I'm going to be using that as my foundation. I just smudged it on a little plate so it'll be easier so I don't have to draw on my face. It was probably easier if I just drew on my face, but I wasn't really thinking at that time. And you can see I didn't go down to my neck. That's because you're supposed to be wearing like a white shirt with a red little bow tie. But I didn't have time to go out and buy one because I had to go to school. So I guess my black shirt for now will have to do until Halloween comes. Next, I'm just taking some non-grease face paint I found at Party City. It was like $2 and I'm just taking the white and I'm going to be putting it on my face just because the Wet n Wild body crayon was not enough for me. Sorry, it's a little blurry here, but I'm taking the Lorac Pro Translucent Powder and I'm going to be setting my face just so the face paint and the crayon does not get all over me because you do not want to mess. Now I'm just taking my Meat Matrimony eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using the black color and I'm going to be putting that 
all over my eyes. I'm just trying to make sure it's darker closer towards my lash line and lighter towards my crease so I can get that gradient effect and make it still look kind of pretty. Next, going into the same palette, I'm going to take Matt Lopez and Matt Evans and I'm going to put that in my crease just to soften it up a little bit so they won't look like such harsh lines. And because I put the eyeshadow under my eyes, I'm just taking the white crayon again on my foundation brush and I'm just cleaning it up a little bit so it doesn't look like so it doesn't look like black exploded all over my face. Next, I'm going to be taking uh, Matt Ahmed, which is the black in the palette, and I'm going to be contouring my nose. This is going to make it look like my skull is disintegrating into my skin. Now I'm just taking that white crayon again and I'm just cleaning up all the places where I put a little bit too much black or there's black where I don't want it to be. Next, going into Matt Evans, I'm going to be contouring the bottoms of my cheeks. So where the apples of my cheeks are, the bottom of that. That's where I'm going to be contouring. Now going back into Matt Evans and Matt Ahmed, the light brown and the black color, I'm just going to be adding that to where I place the black on my cheeks so it'll have that more shadow effect. Now taking just the black, I'm going to be doing the little swirls on my cheeks just like the saw guy.
Next, dipping into the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm going to be taking the red and the pinkish color and right where the apples in my cheeks are, I'm going to be filling in those lines. This is going to set a base for when I put the actual red color on top. Now taking the red in that Party City palette I got, I'm going to be outlining the red swirls on my cheeks. I had to wet it and I realized I didn't like it, but I already did one cheek so I had to do the other. So next you'll be seeing me take Mil Milani Amore liquid lipstick and I'm going to be using that to really outline my cheeks and that's what made it pop more. Now jumping back into the eyes, I'm taking my Lorac Pro eyeliner. I'm going to, in the color black and I'm going to just be lining my top line and the outer corners of my bottom lines. And going back with the Milani Amore liquid lipstick, I'm just putting that right next to my lash line, like as close as possible. Now I'm just curling my lashes. And using my Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal to have a base for my eyelashes that I put on. Now I put my eyelashes 
on off camera because if I put them on camera, the video would have been an hour long. Now going into the black in the palette that we use, I'm going to just be putting more on my eyes seeing as how when I put my lashes on, some of the glue ruined the black eyeshadow. Now picking up the Tarte Tardiest Pro palette. I'm going to be taking the color Classic and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone highlight. Now going back with the Wet n Wild Body Crayon, I'm going to be just touching up the places that I think need a little extra white or that I messed up on and I wiped off. Now this next part, I'm going to be taking the black in the palette and I'm going to be contouring my cheeks and my forehead. This is going to give me a dead look and that's the little twist on this. Now taking the Wet n Wild crayon again, I'm going to be softening up any harsh lines I made with the black. Now Now taking the Kylie Lip Kit Liner Pencil in Dead of Night, I'm going to be lining my lips and I want to make sure the points, which is the tops of my lips, are a little more pointier than usual. I also dragged it in a little bit so I can get that gradient effect and it won't be like black with a red harsh line. So speaking of red, I'm taking the Milani Amore again in red, obviously, and I'm going to be putting that on my lips. Sorry, it's a little blurry. So now taking the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color from L'Oreal, I believe that is, or Maybelline, I don't know, one of those two. And I'm going to be putting that in the black, between the black lip liner and the red so it can have a more gradient effect, obviously. Now taking the lip pencil again, I'm going to be drawing two lines down my the sides of my lips so I can look like a little ventriloquist doll. And going in with a black liquid lipstick, I'm going to be outlining that again or drawing over it, whatever you want to say. Now going back into the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm just taking that red and I'm just putting a little bit of where I think I need touch up. So my lips, the inside of my nose, well not the inside, the outer inside part of my nose.
Now this next part is optional. I'm taking the black in the palette and I'm going to be putting that in my hairline because I don't like to wear wigs. They're a little itchy for me. But if you want to wear a wig, go ahead, wear a black wig, wear a red wig, whichever wig you want to wear. I'm just putting black in my hair so you won't be able to see my actual skin color. Now I decided that I needed black around my neck area to give it that hollow look. So that's where I added it. All right, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching.